Hi, I'm Jeff Fresh. I'm here with Don Kaufman, co-founder of Theotrade.com. We're going to talk about volatility, the new buzzword on the street. So, first of all, what's the difference between implied volatility and real volatility? Yeah, so everybody kind of throws those terms around. They, they use them interchangeably, right? Volatility, volatility. But are they talking about what we call historical volatility, which is, you really want the definition, right? Okay. I mean, this is exciting. Short, short version. <laughs> Actual movement in the market versus in today or daily. Well, it could be either. both. It could be either, right? So big moves in the market either during the day yeah. or close to close. And that's historical volatility. That's real. Then you get implied volatility, which is forward looking, and that's that really relates more to the options premium. And you know, when it comes to to trading, for me, I'm into implied volatility. I trust the future of the markets. You know, most people are, you know. They're in the markets and they're driving, you know, 80 miles an hour, looking through the rearview mirror, because that's what real volatility is telling you. It's telling you what just happened. Implied volatility. It's a market to the future. So, what happened in January, February, with well, this implied volatility short inverse thing? Volatility ruptured is really the way to look I at like it. That. There has been this like short volatility position that's been on nonstop, and it, it ultimately came apart at the seams. And it's it's really simple. An old-fashioned run. And, Everybody was on one side of the trade. Everybody's short volatility. When everybody's on any side of the trade, and, it eventually blows up. And the, the count was what a trillion dollars of the, in that trade. Is it that, is. is it, it is quite substantial of what That's has the T. Yeah. In trade. It, right. It's it's substantial about how many positions have gone against, and it's really tough to tell because there's so many different volatility products out there. But you know, ultimately, again, it's great to see if you look at this. You know, volatility has been all bottled up. And you know the cap is blown way off of it, and that's and it's what does that opportunity, tell you? huge opportunity right now. We're going to get much more movement moving forward from this point on because the cap is off that volatility bottle. For how long do you think? Substantial period of time. Interest rates are going to have a lot to do with that. So as interest so rates not come just up, yep. months, weeks, but like. Oh no! You're plus. looking. You're looking at 2018. I mean, we've already seen now. I think it's uh, 11 moves greater than one percent on the S&P. Um, After not having one for like right, two years? Right. You know, all of last year. I think we had eight all of last year. We've already had 11 in 2018. That's going to continue. I mean, Excellent. we're going to continue rocking right now. Thank you, Don. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us.